With COVID cases on the rise, many cities are beginning new restrictions for the new year. Starting tomorrow, Chicago will require proof of vaccinations to enter into any indoor venues, including restaurants, bars, and gyms. Illinois has seen cases double in recent weeks. And officials say they worry about what comes next. Joining me now is Kevin Bain. He's a co-founder for the Independent Restaurant Coalition and the Boca Restaurant Group. Uh, good to see you, Kevin. So, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I know. It's, it's hard. It's a very hard start, isn't it? It is. And it seems like this is a never-ending thing. It really so here is. we are 20, 20 months into this fight, and it's still a real struggle. So then... Do most restaurateurs welcome this then, that uh, patrons will have to show proof of vaccination? I, I think at the end of the day, the requirement of vaccination cards is something we can both handle and support. And we welcome anything that'll keep our guests and our team members safe. But it, it is problematic for restaurants in some ways. It does cause us extra labor. People can be argumentative over it uh, at the front door. Um, and specifically here in Chicago, you don't want to give people extra reasons not to dine when it's five degrees outside. But at the end of the day, we're, we're happy to do our part. However, the, the circumstances that got us into this new regulation, the variant spread that is the problem, um, cost multiple staff members uh, work in December and we also had to cancel many holiday parties millions and millions of dollars of parties were had to be canceled across the country and so restaurants are here once again in a major pickle with no current government programs so so then i, I wonder you know if, if you're really also saying chicago and the restaurant business has no other recourse because on one hand you want to keep all of your employees safe uh, you have suffered a big blow from people uh, getting sick. At the same time, you want business. So you need the public to be cooperative about helping to keep you all safe. That, that's all true. Now, if they go to capacity limitations, that's the death sentence that caused uh, 100,000 restaurants to close. Mm -hmm. And there's a solution to all of this. The Independent Restaurant Coalition is 100,000 member, members strong, and we, we speak to restaurants all the time who are on the verge of closing, and the Restaurant Revitalization Fund was already designed. It just needs to be refilled. We, we, asked, we asked for $120 billion originally. We received $28.6 billion. There's 177,000 restaurants who never got support. So I think what restaurants want is just fair reciprocity. They want to say, hey, we're going to do our part, we're going to make it as safe as possible, but help us on the other hand so it doesn't kill our business and at the same time lose jobs for all these hardworking people. Mm. So, so you're, you're needing more federal assistance. You, you, you've said that 86% of the restaurants are in danger of, of closing, and, and Congress yes. needs to replenish the, the Restaurant Revitalization Fund um, established by the American Rescue Plan. And I know you two have been working really hard to ensure the safety of your customers. Uh, but, you know, those safety measures come with a cost. You know, prices they for do. just about everything, right, it has been going up. So how much of a role has that played, too, in your current situation? Well, yeah, I mean, everything's difficult right now. First of all, the restaurant business was already difficult. <laughs> it's yeah. like the hardest business in the world. And so now we're like in the Olympics of trying to make it work. And so, you know, we've been working with Senators Wicker and Cardin and Schumer and the SBA um, on a new piece of legislation for this year, but Congress went home and neighborhood restaurants and bars are going out of business. So yeah, restaurants have had to raise prices, um, but everything is hard right now. There are nights when you just don't have enough employees to field a team. Um, and it's, the, 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 word, the word restaurant literally means to restore other people. Mm -hmm. And it's, pr it's pretty hard to restore other people when you're not restored and your spirit has been kicked. Oh, my. Oh, so that's, that, that's, that's where a lot of people sit right now is they're going in to take care of other people and they're worried for their, for their business, for their family. And so we're just looking for some more help from Congress, and it's it's bipartisan. It's got bipartisan support. 
We just need a few more people to jump on. Mm, okay, uh, Kevin, Fame. I mean, thanks for the hard truth. That that's uh, you know serving up some really harsh uh, reality there. But um, I think we all understand exactly where you're coming from. Well, I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to speak. It's it's important to a lot of people. We are we're 16.1 million people who work in the United States in the whole supply chain. We're four percent of the GDP. We're an important business, mm -hmm. and yeah, we, we should be treated you. as such. Yeah, we need you. We need our restaurants, uh, and we yes. all need to be restored, as you, as you say. Uh, Kevin Bain, thank you so much. Appreciate it. All the best. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. That was good.